Hello everyone, my name is Rage and welcome to Patron Game of the Week. Every week the patrons suggest games, then vote on them and I have to play the winner. This week the winner is Oxygen Not Included, which while it looks like a really cool game, I think is probably going to be a very short video because like it states, the oxygen is not included and I feel like I'm expanding it all on this intro. Oh god. Okay, that was that was not worth it, but that's fine. I like the look of this. Obviously, I've not looked too much into it as per the nature of patron game of the week, but so far the art style is simply charming. The humor seems there. I mean, twinkle toes and mouth breather, breather I like it. I mean, it's hard to be a mouth breather when oxygen isn't included, but still. And I love base management games, so... A level 8 minor seems good, alright? She's got an iron gut with flatulence, which doesn't really make too much sense, but again, that's okay. So I'm gonna shuffle this one. Uh, I mean, a builder, a bodybuilder. I feel like I don't need that too much. Ooh, that one's got a lot of... Uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of stat. I mean, I don't really know what I'm looking here. Name your colony! Razorcon Empire, of course, but do I keep shuffling? A scientist, a runner, an artist, do, do we do we care about? I mean, he's an interior decorator, and they they expect decor to be up, so I think we can build a colony based on Cecil the Artist, Casper the Technician, and Melody the Miner. I like this. All right, let's embark on glorious quest to make claim to alien world. Ooh. New hope. Alert! Your crews are compelled to be the service of an unfamiliar terrestrial body. Oddly, they have no recollection of how they got there. It might be best to start digging. Ooh, I do like any game that requires that we dig. Oh, I am I, I'm kind of instantly getting a Dungeon Keeper vibe from this, and that is a very, very good thing. I'm not sure if I want to just... Okay, he's digging with a laser. That's fine. Everybody likes lasers. So the real question is, what am I going for? I mean, we're gaining sandstone, which seems good, but what if I was to dig up and flood them? Can I drown my starter people? Because that would be kind of nice. Let's get rid... Can I get rid of that one? There we go, I want to cancel the dig there, fantastic. Alright, so I mean, we're gaining more sandstone. Harvest, there's not really much to harvest. Let's cancel, no, cancel the dig, calm yourself, although I think we weaken the floor a little bit. Sweep, map, deconstruct, prioritize! Ah, that's good, so it seems like there's a lot of uh, ways to control what's going on. Aha, we have base! So if I do that... What 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 happens? So is that gonna make an actual Yeah it is okay Wait they said oxygen wasn't included I see oxygen right here Alright I'm returning the game I'm returning the game this is this is absolutely unacceptable This is unfreaking acceptable I think we're gonna have an outhouse over there it seems like a nice place to store it and then I mean, I feel like I need a way for my minions, because of course that's what they are, to get up here. So, if I make the ladder like that, and then they should be able to go up and down, right? That seems like a way to go. So then we're going to continue digging and, I guess, excavate all of this and make it actually like a nice little room. That, that seems to be the way to go. I mean, I can definitely see myself having a must make very pretty type. Oh God, I elbowed a drink. Why do I keep elbowing drinks all my life? I need therapy. Okay, all right, we're fine. All right, we need medicine. So I guess I'll put that in the corner somewhere. Don't get exhausted, Casper, get back in there. Why is a massage table one of the basic things? That seems like it's not a priority now, does it? Alright, so we got stuff building, we got stuff digging, that's all good. Alright, I am instantly really liking this. 
I'm loving the animations, I'm loving how everything's forming. It's very instantly approachable, which I absolutely adore. I hate games like this that make it just so unnecessarily complicated at the start. So, this is pretty damn neat. We've got so much sandstone, we barely know what to do with it, so that's nice. So the real question is then, can I turn floor into sandstone? I can! So all of that can become better. Like, do I want to build a tile there? That seems like that's oxygen. I don't know. I'm going to build around our starting area just so we have some sort of stable home, I guess? I just feel like securing it seems like a sensible thing to do. And then we are going to get a series of three beds, because I have three workers. I mean, look, logic would dictate they all need a place to chill the hell out. And then we can tile this up and actually make that a proper part of the base, right? That, that seems like a thing to do. They could all sleep next to each other. I, I, I kind of like that. Uh, we have a ration box already next to the outhouse. Probably should have thought about that. I thought it was just a storage container for materials, but if it's ration for food, I, I mean, that's, that's fine, right? That's totally fine. Okay, and then I guess if I get ourselves more of this, and I'm going to put it round here and then I can have the medical area, and then we can keep digging down through the one space that I've got. And I imagine there's a lot of exploration to the- Oh, okay, I'm actually- like, Hmm. All right, you know something is good when it is just gibberish good. All right, gibberish good is rare praise. This is an absolute gem of a game so far. And talking of gems, I wonder if there's any gems to find. I mean, we do have copper ore and coal and all of that down here, so perhaps perchance that is something that we want. I don't know if I'm wasting my time having them actually make all of this into proper flooring and stuff. I have no idea. He's relieving himself in the outhouse, which is a foot from where he's working. That's probably quite efficient there, Cecil. There we go. Oh, yes. Blast. Oh, look. It's like a freaking beam of parts forming what I want it to form. That's awesome. It really is awesome. All right, I have a feeling colony requires a food source. Yeah, that makes sense. But the question, of course, is how do I get it? Produce low quality food for duplicates, all right? I need missing materials, raw metal. All right, so we're going to have to get down to said raw metal then and uh, make this happen. So if we go down there, that looks good, and then we can... Start digging that out. That seems like a sensible idea. In fact, we'll go all of that and then we can actually break into this area and it's more living area. It's almost like having human ants in space. That's how I describe this. Human ants in space. 10 out of 10. IGN. Although there is a lot of water. <laughs> oh god, I don't think that will ever be forgotten. I don't like that this is actually getting leaky and cracked. That's not a good thing. That's actually really, really problematic now that I think of it. No, don't go to sleep! You must work like dogs! Um, guys? Guys? Um, guys, there is a... There, there is a dog that has fallen into a nuclear waste and then coincidentally rolled out of that and rolled through an arts and crafts factory. We need to really deal with this. We seriously, a dog that's fallen in nuclear waste and gone through an arts and crafts factory. What the fuck, self? What is that? It's not fun. Like, look, I, my line of thought was we take mutated dog and then we stick, like, cardboard teeth and paint it with purple glitter. So I was like, arts and crafts factory. God, that was a horror. Just... Just terrible commentary. Like, overall, I don't even know why you're still here. This It's no longer entertaining. I've killed it. I've ruined it. That is it. That's the end. That is absolutely the end. Dirty hands, interrupted sleep, tired, holding breath. Oh, they're holding their breath. Guys. Guys. G guys, I feel... I feel like maybe... Maybe. Oh no, they're back to they're back to work. All right. Hopefully, when we get to here, we gain. Oh, there's oxygen there. 
Ha! So I guess if we grab a bit more digging and make them, like, dig there, then we'll actually get access to that oxygen. Oh, no, we've still got a little bit of breathable oxygen in here, so this seems good. Next production. All right, so we can't get any more people. We do have the little, small, tiny issue, you know, tiny, tiny issue of everything being really, really flooded, which, you know, admittedly is probably not something that we want. All right, they're grimy. That's fine. We don't need anything like that. That's okay. We do need to get to some raw metal very quickly. I mean, this is definitely one of those games that you need to put a lot of time into in order to really get somewhere. So, that's fine. I, I can accept that. It just means we might not get, you know, crazy far into this for now. We've probably gained some oxygen. Yeah, we have. That's lovely. But we do need to start moving over to this metal. So, if you guys could stop just eating and stuff and get back to work, you insignificant gnats! You will do as I say or you will sleep in soggy bedrolls! Which you kind of will, anyway, as it happens. Okay, cool. We've... We've at least blocked that up for now, so the water should hopefully go down. Hopefully, right? Please? Please? We're living in sogginess. <laughs> Nobody wants to live in sogginess. All right, I have a feeling this is one of those games where you play it, learn a lot, realize the horrible mistake that you have made, and just the awful effectively playing with the lives of these people, then you start again with the mind of doing something a little bit better, a little bit more sensible with some actual, you know, planning in mind. Down you go, take a nice deep breath, keep breaking rocks. I might be able to salvage this horrendousness yet. <laughs> yes, go on, keep doing it. Grab some air, then get under the water, and then start using your beam. Everything will be fine. All we need to do is break into this vacuum area, and everything's going to be awesome. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Please don't you worry about it. And I can imagine like, Eh, hey, Casper. Yes, Cecil? Do you hear a voice in the sky telling us not to worry? Oh my god, Cecil. What have I told you about voices in the sky? Well, actually, guys, I I think the voice is right. Oh, not you too, Melody. Well, uh, 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 you never like me, Casper. All right, you don't like me because my Melody. Ah, okay. So I've got myself an actual battery on the way and then wires to get there. And look, my... Plan to get rid of the water is a great success. Look at that. Everything is looking up. And we've got a lot more space to live in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can we not? Can we kill it? It's just eating all my raw materials. <laughs> oh, and, and Cecil is very hurt. I mean, at least it's not killing my people. I guess that's fine. Oh, good. Oh, good. You guys are so, so unlucky to have me as your glorious leader. You really are. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm very sorry. I am. I, I really, really am. <laughs> oh, my God. Why do we need a supercomputer? I mean, I guess we don't right now. We need something to clean them. Why can I not give them a shower? Like, there is so much wa water everywhere. Let's put a microbe musher there, too, because I guess that's fine. Okay, there's not a crazy amount going there either. And then uh, I think, honestly, we're okay after that. There's probably enough going on. I'm not really sure what this all means, but we do need to... Uh, get ourselves energy all, all up in this. You know, I, I don't know why I thought that this electric thing wasn't going to work without electrics. Admittedly, you know, that was a bit of a hope, a bit of a stretch, but I believe in myself. You know, I do. I've got absolutely filthy colonists. Like, seriously, you would not believe what Melody does behind c closed doors. I also have filthy colonists. They're just covered in slime and crap and Oh, God, it's just the smell. If you could put your nose in this cave, oh, it would shrivel off and die. You have no idea, but I think that's ultimately all right. It's taken a while to make this battery. Is Cecil breaking more and more limbs as we go along? Because I feel like he is, and uh, yeah. <laughs> We're in the 
not doing well here, are we? Oh, there is so much. Will you please break the final block to stop smelling each other? I never thought I'd have to yell that at a bunch of colonists, but stop smelling each other. I have no idea how to keep them clean because there's just, there doesn't seem to be anything that does it. Unless I'm just missing something really badly that I don't know about. But I don't think I am. Not from any of this that I can see. Reduces stress. Yeah, that's fine. That doesn't really help much, though. Really doesn't. And from what I can see on the research... Hand sanitizer? Oh! Oh, there we go. Ah! Ha! Ah, shower! Shower! It's a goddamn shower! We need liquid piping! I've done it, guys! I have solved being absolutely filthy! Hey, hey there we go! Alright, looking good. Get that power going. Get that power going. Fabricate. Yes! Alright, lovely. Mush bar, fabricate. Okay, we've got industry! We've got industry! <laughs> Keep running, you little rat! Oh my god, we're doing it, guys! We're doing it! My absolutely awful, awful base with absolutely no efficiency or anything uh, sort of resembling actual life is working. But, you know, my goal for these people is to have them goddamn shower because this is just disgusting. Absolutely disgusting uh we can't even it's gonna take so long to get to to get to showers <laughs> we gotta do so much for it i'm not even gonna be able to do it i'm such a failure i am such a failure oh my god i am such a failure that i can't even have clean workers <laughs> i can't even have three workers with no broken limbs Maybe I should have probably, probably, uh, probably uh, looked at some help here. Oh, we can super speed it. Ah, that kind of helps things along. Yes, indeed. Oh, hey, we got a new person on their way. Awesome, you can join the smell. Oh, I just don't know. I just don't know. But there we have it, guys. This is a, uh, well, really cool game, oxygen not included, a uh, colony management in this weird place involving a lot of digging, which does satisfy a lot of itches, you know, proper, well-laid-out base building, the progression, I mean, it's a very satisfying experience. It's not doing anything crazy or new, but what I love about it is that it instantly has the kind of, yes, I want my base to be perfect and running, awesome appeal, combined with, yes, I want to dig and explore and get stuff, which is great, but it does what a lot of these games don't do, which is make it very easy and apparent how to play it, how to pick it up, how to go about doing the things. Normally when I do these, there's loads of jump cuts where I'm like working stuff out, trying to see how things actually are supposed to work and go down, and it's really frustrating when you don't want to Google everything you want to actually work it out whereas so far the only thing that's slightly been wait what how do I make this happen is uh, the research but even then that was absolutely great so yeah I love it and honestly at this point it's just gonna keep going and going and going you know I'll research more things get more buildings place them expand get more people expand get more rare minerals for more rare buildings get more people expand and it's a lovely satisfying cycle but it is no one that you want to see play out in effectively slow motion of what would be seven hours so yeah I'm loving it loving it loving it like you've enjoyed this Again, don't smell any of my minions. They're not great. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. A oh, good boy. Yeah.